I always have a toothpick in my mouth. This toothpick has been passed down from generation to generation. Because it makes me talk crooked. It makes me talk like I barely care. It doesn't make me open my mouth completely. Because the more you open your mouth, the louder you sound. The more you sound like you're trying. It's all about not trying, folks. Why do you want to go out there and try? To try and fail? Do you know how many people try and fail? But if you never try, you never fail. I'm just all chill. All non-blasé. Always wearing sunglasses always wear these sunglasses because the less color i see the more mental resources i could allocate the more mental resources i could put into being cool it's mr steal your It is I, Mr. Cool here, trying to seamlessly do a character and hold a toothpick in my mouth at the same time. Oops, I dropped my toothpick. Unacceptable. It is I, Mr. Steal Your Girl. I am taking over the pod. George Blaha, that insecure fuck, that insecure fuck, will not be on the podcast today uh uh-uh we are not letting mr insecure george blaha overthinker babbler george blaha take over this podcast because it is i mr steal your girl it is i the toothpick wielder yes yes i am someone who is always whispering and i'm always using a low tone a voice. Do you know why? Because I'm barely trying. And barely trying? I'm gonna sit I'm gonna tell you one thing about barely trying. Barely trying is gonna get me to steal your girl. Because while you're showering her in gifts, holding her hand, overanalyzing, why is it that when I hold her hand, she doesn't grab my hand as tight as she used to? It's because she's thinking about me, Mr. Steel, your girl. It's Mr. Steel, your girl! That is me, motherfuckers. It is I, the toothpick wielder, wielder, wielder of the universe. I can't talk well when my toothpick isn't in my mouth. But I realize that this bit isn't going to work if you can't hear me while I have a toothpick in my mouth. I am Mr. Steel, your girl. I'm always wearing sunglasses. Indoors, outdoors, days, nights, in bed, in the shower. I'm always Mr. Steal Your Girl. Because girls like it when you're too cool to look at color and to appreciate color. It's Mr. Steal Your Girl! They like it. They like it when you don't care enough. They truly do. Do you know why? Do you know why I say? I'm still trying to figure out the voice of this character. Do you know why I say? Do you know why, girls? Do you know why I wear these glasses? Because when I wear these sunglasses, I can block out the color. Okay? I block out the color, and I I never notice when your girlfriend changes the color of her hair. And she thinks that that's so cool and so so non-blasé. And she gets into her head, why hasn't he complimented? My new hair color. It's Mr. Steel, your girl! I have to capture his attention one way or another. And that's where I get the V, the P, the Holy C. That's how I get it, folks. Guys, pals, it's me, Mr. Steal Your Girl. Okay? I always have a toothpick in my mouth. I always have a toothpick in my mouth. This toothpick has been passed down from generation to generation. Because it makes me talk crooked. It makes me talk like I barely care. It doesn't make me open my mouth completely. Because the more you open your mouth, the louder you sound. The more you sound like you're trying. It's all about not trying, folks. Why do you want to go out there and try? To try and fail? Do you know how many people try and fail? But if you never try, you never fail. 
I'm just all chill, all non-blase, always wearing sunglasses, always wearing sunglasses. Because the less color I see, the more mental resources I could allocate. The more mental resources I could put into being cool. It's Mr. Steal Your Game! When I don't look at color, I'm just leaning. You, have, you, you better see my lane, dude. You better see my lane. When I lean against the wall, munching on my toothpick. I've, I've been munching on the same toothpick, by the way. I've been munching on the same toothpick that my dad munched on, that my stepfather munched on. I would not replace this toothpick with anything because we come from a long generation of people with small mouths and tight teeth. That's why I always have to have a toothpick on hand because I get a lot of shit stuck there. Okay? Believe it or not, my teeth are so tight. My teeth are so tight, dude. My teeth are so fucking tight that sometimes flamboids get stuck in my teeth for days if I misplace my toothpick. It's Mr. Steal Your Death! That's why I always have my toothpick, guys. Always munching on that wood. And it's good to munch on wood. It's good to constantly have wood in your mouth. Taste the wood. Feel the wood. This used to be a tree. Okay? This used to be a living life force that used to provide oxygen to the planet, to everybody else. And now I'm munching on it. And I like the constant taste of wood in my mouth. Oh, do I love the constant taste of wood. Because it makes me think of trees all the time. It makes me remember one of the biggest talking points that your girlfriend loves, which is the environment. I talk about pollution all the time, how much we have to conserve the trees. I don't really care about the trees, but since I'm always, since I'm always, I feel like I'm nailing, nailing this character now. I'm feeling the character. Since I'm always tasting wood, I always talk about trees and how we have to save them and how we have to plant more trees. Because the more trees we have out there, the more toothpicks we have out there. And the more toothpicks we have out there, the more real men we have in the world. It's Mr. Steal Your Death! That's right, motherfuckers. Also, I'm always munching on wood because I took an Ancestry.com test. And after taking that Ancestry.com test, apparently, I am one-third termite. It's Mr. Steal Your Death! My great-great-grandfather was a termite that was experimented on in Nazi Germany. He was half termite, half man. He was a man. He was a termite that could ejaculate human sperm. And that's why I always love munching wood. That's why I can't smoke weed anymore. Every time I smoke weed, I start eating the support being of my house. I've destroyed four houses that way. Four houses, although it'd be pretty cool. It would be pretty cool if I destroyed 420 houses. It's Mr. Steal Your Death! There's nothing more delicious than a fucking old 80-year-old support beam. But I love munching on wood. Truly, the toothpick keeps me at bay. It keeps me at bay, people. You got, I have to be kept at bay. You know, I used to think that was part woodchuck. Nah, I'm part termite. And also having a toothpick at hand, it's always, it's always handy. You never know. It makes my head butts deadly. Okay? You're out there, you know. You have a high-pitched voice, you know. You have tiny testicles. Your girlfriend doesn't like that, you know. That's why I always lower my voice. Sure, I'm forcing it. Sure, I am trying to hide the fact that... I have high levels of estrogen that every time I cry, I lactate. I don't want anyone to know that. That's why I deepen my voice like this. And sure, talking like this, you know, all day. You know, I, every time I come home, I, I cough blood. You see, I cough blood. But that's the price to pay. That's the price to pay to be cool. It's Mr. Steel, you're Fuck yeah. 
That was a horrible timing button. That wasn't that cool of me. But that's what happens when I don't have the toothpick in my mouth. You know? It ruins my rhythm. It truly ruins my rhythm. But it's all about having a toothpick, dude. Deadly headbutts. I have deadly headbutts. I could protect your girl, dude. I could end it all with a headbutt, motherfucker. Okay? Every day, every day when I wake up, I do 100 push-ups. I do 100 sit-ups. And I practice 100 headbutts against my headbutt bag. It's Mr. Steel, your I don't need my arms. You gotta practice your headbutts. You have to have a toothpick. You know, you really want to have deadly headbutts. Okay? Having deadly headbutts is the way to go. Okay, people? It's the way to go. Because you know, you never know when you're going to lose your arms. Imagine, imagine practicing jujitsu, boxing, kickboxing, mixed martial arts, and then one day in an accident you lose all your limbs. That is all of that work down the drain, people. But me, being Mr. Steal Your Girl, I think ahead. I see ahead of the curve. That's why. That's why your girlfriend's vagine is trip droppity drew drew da trip droppity doo da. That's why her panties are moist. Whenever she thinks about toothpicks. Whenever you leave the Olive Garden and she sees the toothpick dispenser, she always excuses herself to the bathroom to rub one out. It's Mr. Steel, your girl! But imagine, imagine putting all those hours into kicking, punching, and in a freak accident, you lose all of your limbs. Well, if you lose your head, you're dead. It rhymes, so it's true. It's Mr. Steel, your girl! It is. So, that's why I only practice my headbutts. Because I've perfected the headbutt and I've made it deadly with a toothpick. So, I am always armed, no matter the situation. Girls love that shit. I could protect your girl. What are you gonna do, shriek? Run? You know, push her to the ground? And run whenever someone is threatening you. Use your girlfriend as bait. I mean, let's be honest. You know, survival of the fittest. That's a pretty good move. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, we only have like one life that we are aware of. There's no evidence that we have more than two lives. So, you know, if you're under attack, if you're under a threat, you know. If someone's, if some maniac on PCP is running towards you and your girlfriend, if some maniac on PCP is running towards you and your girlfriend with a hammer, you know, fuck it, push her to the ground, use her as bait, and run as fast as you can. If you're easily out of breath, if you're asthmatic or fat, I don't blame you. I think that's a good strategy. But... <laughs> <coughs> It's, bit, it's super hard to talk like this. I'm recording at 9 p.m., so I've been... I, I've worn off the cool setting, the Mr. Steal Your Girl setting of my vocal cords. I've wasted it all completely. But I'm telling you, man, I don't have a leather jacket right now because it's in the cleaners. But I always wear a leather jacket, despite the fact that I live in a tropical island. Despite the fact that it's always sunny okay i always wear a leather jacket i don't care because to be honest when i take off my shirt i'm already like pre-glossy pre you gotta think about those things the pros and the cons and i'm always taking off my shirt no matter the situation always looking for an excuse to flex them pecs so that when your girl's around me and she sees the sweat. When she sees the sun hit the sweat, dude. Just sweating over my pecs. Oh, she's gonna go drip, droppity, do the. It's Mr. Steel, your girl! You know, trust me, you don't believe me? You should go check. You should go check my car. The stain. The drip, droppity, do the cunt stain that your girlfriend left 
that your girlfriend left in my car, ginormous, buried in my pit stains, when it's 100 degrees outside. You don't believe me? You don't believe me that it's her stain? Come to my car. Come to my car and scratch the seat. Scratch the seat to activate the smell and take a whiff. Recognize the smell? Expired cinnamon toast crunch. Only Cynthia has that smell. It's Mr. Steal Your Girl! <laughs> what a dumb fucking bit. What the fuck is up, dude? <laughs> Dude, it's so hard to talk. It's honestly so fucking hard to talk and have a fucking... My eyes are just adjusting to the room. How do people wear sunglasses? I never wear sunglasses. Like, never. I don't mind I don't, I don't. don't mind squinting, dude. I don't mind squinting when the sun hits me. You know, like, I'm barely in situations where the sun is, like, blinding me. That I, like, seriously need sunglasses. Like, it's okay. Like, the level of, like, brightness... That, that it is outside is pretty okay. I mean, I think we should all be okay with the level of brightness that it is on a regular sunny day. Like, if you're in, incapable of, like, seeing in these circumstances, what's wrong with you, dude? Seriously, like, we all see these people with sunglasses as cool people because, you know, obviously we can't see how neurotic they are because we can't see where exactly they are looking. They always look they always look like they're looking at one single place, you know? But you can't see their fucking eyeballs. You don't know where they're swinging at, you know? We can't see the neurotic movement of their eyeballs looking everywhere. You know, they look cool. They look non-chill, you know, all chill, non-blasé. But they're not. They're just wearing sunglasses. I, 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 I don't mind squinting. You know, my eyelids don't get tired, dude. I think it's just people who always wear sunglasses, dude. I mean, it's either because an aesthetic thing, because I want to look cool, or I think it's because they just, you know, they have very weak eyelids, dude, that get easily tired, dude. You know, muscular dystrophy in the eyelids, man. You know, they could only, like, blink a certain amount of times during the day, and then their eyelids just shut down, dude. <laughs> they just shut down. They're like, nah, I'm tired for the day, dude. Like, people that are learning to walk again. Muscular dystrophy, dude, you know? <laughs> they get tired easily, but just the fucking eyelids. I don't mind squinting, dude. Just fucking squint, dude. You know? Look like... Look like you're having suspicious feelings, dude. Do that communist, can I trust you, are you a comrade squint, you know? That's all I'm saying. Fuck, fuck sunglasses indoors. It makes no sense, dude. I like appreciating my surroundings, seeing the color. You know, like, what are you doing? You're indoors. And people who use fucking sunglasses at night, like, if you're not high, you're just a fucking douchebag, dude. You're just a fucking insecure douchebag. I don't I don't get the point of it, dude. And the toothpick. The, you would think that the toothpick trend would die, right? You would believe that the toothpick trend would die, but I see people, man. Every, every once in a while, I catch one motherfucker toothpicking around, dude. I remember one time I saw this one guy. He had a toothpick, just non-chill blasé. I mean, all chill, non-blasé. I always get that one wrong. I don't know why. But he he always had like a toothpick, like, you know, seamlessly hanging on the side of his mouth in the morning, you know? And I and my first thought was like, what the fuck did you eat that that you require a toothpick? Super accessible at 7 a.m., dude. Like, what did the fuck did you eat, bro? What is it with the fucking toothpicks, man? You know, don't you get splinters, you know? Or you buy, like, premium toothpicks, you know? You, you buy an eight-pack of $20 toothpicks? I just dropped my toothpick. Dude, it's such an easy thing to drop. Like, why are you? It tastes like wood. I don't get it. You can barely talk, dude. You know? <laughs> like, what's the point of the toothpick? Honestly, if it's not to give headbutts, I don't get it. I don't get the point of, like, you know, having a... A toothpick seamlessly hang out in the corner of your mouth. Makes me angry, dude. The fuck did you eat in the morning? The fuck did you eat that, that you had to clean your fucking gums? Did you eat ribs, bro? Did you eat ribs and you fucking dunked it in oatmeal, motherfucker? That you need to, like, pick out the fucking, you know, pick out the the pieces of hard meat stuck in between your teeth at 7 in the morning? The fuck, the fuck is the toothpick for, dude? 
you know, people my age. It's like, what the f- like, who are you hanging out with, man? What what type of like Gen Xers that that refuse to accept that the times have changed? Are you hanging around with, dude? With a fucking toothpick in your mouth? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. The toothpick glasses combo. Everyone says punch a Nazi. Nah, man, punch a guy with a toothpick in his mouth because fuck that guy, dude. Have dental floss. Toothpicks are, are, you know, they barely work, dude. You're just stabbing your gums, bleeding. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? What the fuck are you doing? Are you just challenging your gingivitis? Maybe they just like the taste of their own blood, you know? They like the taste of the blood of their enemies because they hate themselves so much, you know? They they hate themselves so much that they like the taste of their own blood. I like the taste of the blood of my enemies, which is me. I'm my enemy. I fucking hate myself. I suck, you know? The fuck are you doing? The fuck's going on? But fucking people, dude. Fucking people that 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 have this incessant need to steal your girl. That's really it's really pre- prevalent. 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 The fuck did I say prevalent for? It's really prevalent in trap music, you know? Everyone's saying, I fucked your bitch and I made her come, you know? And I've talked about this before. Like, you're gonna tell me that the the song that you made a whole album about sipping ling, being high on pills, like there's no way. Your fucking dick works. There's no fucking way that your dick works. Like, go fuck yourself. You know, you're, you're, you're boozing all the time. You're doing all these drugs. Your libido has to be out of whack. There's no way that your dick fucking works, dude. Fuck you with your fucking half-hard dick. You're going to make my girlfriend come. It's always making your girlfriend. Get your own girlfriend, dude. You know what? I don't get the point. I don't get the point of stealing people's girls, you know? And I, and I understand, I mean, I do, I understand where they're coming from. It's like the sign of like, I stole your girl. What are you going to do about it? You know, it's like a power move, you know, but it's like, it's just, it's just, you know, but again, if you are destroyed because your girlfriend cheated on you, like, compl- and, I, and I don't mean like you're sad. It's okay to be sad. It's okay. But I mean like completely destroy, like she was my everything. Then you're a fucking loser. That's on you too. That's on you. <laughs> That's on you for not having more important goals than to, you know, extend a relationship as much as you possibly can. You know, <laughs> she was my everything. It's like, it's just some 22 year old dude. Like, fucking get over it. She was your everything. You know, you are your everything. Fucking, you know, have some goals, have something tangible to work on, you know, but don't fucking use people as a reason to live, you know. These fucking songs, these fucking cheesy songs. I think it's like the the Beach Boys. There's this Beach Boy song that's like, I I don't know who I would be without you. Something like that. I can't remember the song right now. I can't remember the exact lyrics. I have to look it up. God damn it. I don't know who I would be without you. Let's see. I don't know who I would be. I'm typing as fast as I can with one fucking finger, dude. Who I would be without you. Let's see. There's no fucking way, Beach Boys. Such a cheesy song, dude. It's like fucking... The Beach Boys didn't mean that they have a fucking career. You know, they're just saying that. They're just saying that, dude. Uh, God only knows... God only knows what I'd be without you. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? You'd probably be cooler. You'd probably land a hotter chick. You're the Beach Boys, motherfucker. The Beach Boys, dude. God only knows where I'd be without you. You know? Like, really? Really? I just moved the camera. Really? Like, a chick's gonna fix you that much? You're gonna be that fixed? She fixed me. She put me in my place. You know what I mean? Unless if you're singing that to your son. It's like, go fuck yourself, dude. Truly go fuck. Find some fucking goals. Find something that you believe in. You know? But just putting all that weight, like you're my everything on a person, that's too much, dude. That's too much to carry. I I can't do that. George Blaha, you're my everything. Ugh. (laughs) <laughs> you know, that's a lot of responsibility, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm cheating. <laughs> Where's Mr. Steer, your man, dude? You know, with a toothpick in her mouth, with a toothpick tucked in between her cleavage. Fuck you, dude. You know, but all these people, this excessive need to, like, you know, get someone else's girl. It's like, I didn't, then why would I, I? I've never seen the whole thing. Like, oh, like, like the second I know that a chick has a boyfriend, I just don't want to, 
I just don't, I don't want to shake anyone's pillars, you know, I don't want to ruin anyone's day just so I could, uh, you know, just so I could come and then regret it and then, you know, find this, you know, and then realize the deeper emptiness inside myself. Like, you know, I could do that with someone who's single. I could do that with anyone else, you know? <laughs> Like, I don't need to, to be shaking someone's pillar if that's their pillar because they're fucking weak fucks that don't have, you know, any personal goals or anything that they that they want to do. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. I don't get that, man. But people that wear glasses, I mean, that wear fucking, you know, sunglasses everywhere. Those are the same people, you know, because it's all aesthetic for them. Ooh, look how I look. I look cool. But, but what are you? Like, that's just the exterior, right? These people just care about how they present themselves to others. And that's honestly fucking exhausting, dude. That's honestly fucking exhausting, man. Like, for me, like, I don't spend a lot of time. And thank God, because, you know, I have the, I have the, the grace. I have the grace of the gods that, you know, I landed a good avatar that the simulation provided me with a fairly good looking avatar that I don't have to put many hours into. But again, like, fuck being beautiful. What's the point of being hot when you could be useful, you know? Because you can only be so hot and then what, you know? In a recession, then what? Well, I guess OnlyFans, so. Yeah, fuck. Lately, being hot is just, you know, and it shouldn't be. It bothers me that being hot is worth more than being useful, than knowing skills, than using your mind. And it just is, dude. It just fucking is, man. Swear to God, dude. Yeah, because honestly, like, you read what people are making on OnlyFans, and I'm not, like, angry. It's just, I'm just, you know, seeing and... Seeing what's going on and just forming my own opinion. But there's people out there that are, that are making more than doctors, more than teachers, you know, more than mathematicians, more than fucking engineers. It's fucking wild how they do that, man. Just by, you know, shaking their vagina lips, dude, for fucking and, and uploading 10 second clips of them, you know, you know, I don't know, spraying their ass cheeks and farting, whatever the fuck your niche is. It's fucking wild out there, man. You know? People with vaginas and dicks. They're getting it on. I don't know. And people just pay for it. I, maybe it's because people are alone. It's weird, man. It's very weird. I think what it is, the whole OnlyFans phenomenon. Phenomenon. Boop, 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 boop. I think the whole OnlyFans phenomenon is like a lot of people have just jerked off to just so much porn, dude. You, you just went through the whole catalog and you just kind of like want to connect. You, 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 you want the dirty, you know, double dildoing, you know, just, you, you, you want the dirtiness of porn, but I guess you kind of like, you want to make it more personal, you know, you want to like settle down, you know, <laughs> during this pandemic. I think we all just realize, yeah, a lot of us have been just running around, you know, not committing to anything, you know, just dilly dallying through life, you know, just casually walking the boardwalk of our existence, but we haven't like settled down. We haven't like picked a fucking corner on that on that boardwalk and just committed that like this is my corner this is where i hang out at this hour like this is my spot you know we've just been walking around exploring not really doing anything you know just you know jerking off to different porns we don't even know the name of the person that we're jerking off to and it's a it's pretty weird when you don't know the name of someone that you're jerking off to because it's like a pretty personal thing that they're providing to you to do a very personal thing to yourself you know which is like you know jerk it jerk it which is to, which is to, and I don't know. It's just like we don't know their names. We just watch it. We, bleh, you know, we wipe our belly buttons. If you're a guy, I don't know what the wiping process of women are. I don't know if they do wipe, you know. And that's that. But you know, I guess some of us, if you're not in like a personal relationship or anything, you kind of need that like connection. You want to like settle down to one chick, you know. And it's like charity in, in a way. I mean, sure, you could give that money to, you know, children with cancer, although they're not high priority anymore. Fucking, you know, eyebrowless, bald children. Hey, we're, we have a pandemic in our mists. You don't matter anymore, which it, it's true, dude. I, like, today, like I, was, I was at the mall a couple of days ago and one of those like, hey, would you like to donate? A dollar to children with cancer, ladies with a with a with a with a cup, you know, came by, and that was just my immediate thought. Like, like 
children with cancer. Like, get your priorities straight, bitch. The fuck are you talking about? What do you mean, children with cancer? Dude, you crazy, dude? You crazy. What? We're going to help children with cancer, you know? They're actually in remission, but their fucking immune system is compromise you know they sit on a park bench and boom corona dead like we we, you know we need to prioritize lady what are you fucking stupid what are you fucking what what are you are you what a dollar to children with cancer do they have cancer and covid that's a cause i could get down to you know that's trendy that's trendy but children with cancer that is so 2010 dude you know, <laughs> that's the suck having cancer, dude. It's not your moment anymore. Dude, to have cancer during an election, during election season and a pandemic, dude, no one cares. Like, seriously, no, just your close friends and families. But, you know, you could like put out a GoFundMe page and there's much more. It's a recession, too. So, like, GoFundMe pages aren't being funded. You know, that only works doing prosperity. <laughs> that's the suck man have cancer right now fuck that dude you know it's it's your last moments and normally people who are in the last moments, some people will feel like you know what fuck it like the cancer is pretty bad it's stage whatever the fuck you know late stage cancer and you're like you know what? i'm gonna travel the world but you can't even do that man you can't even do that that's crazy it really it really makes you think man that like you really got to do the things that you want to do, you know? I mean, if you want to walk around with a toothpick at 7 in the morning, just go, go and fucking do it, dude. Live your life. Live your life. Go out there, wear sunglasses indoors, you know? Like, I'm, I'm someone, I'm always judging people, but, I'm, but it's because I'm always judging myself and because it's fun. Let's be honest, people. Judging others is so fucking fun, dude. It really is. Like, there's a whole subsection of, like, comedic videos of just like you know accidentally funny things things that are so bad accidentally like things that people put effort into like like some episodes of this podcast these things that people put so much effort into you know because in their minds they want to make something good but it fails and those videos get passed around and that's hilarious dude that's hilarious but at least they tried you know at the end of the day they fucking tried I think it's all about trying and just not being and not and not and not thinking like, oh, what if people laugh at me? It's like, dude, like you never know where your life's going to be. You could have fucking, you know, stage four eyeball cancer, dude. And, you know, they're going to scrape your eyeballs off out of your fucking skull, you know, and you're like, well, they're going to scrape my eyeballs in two weeks. Might, might as well go on a two week trip and see the world. But you can't because it's a pandemic and everything fucking sucks. So you decide, dude. That's my whole thing. Just fucking do the things that you got to do. And that's something that I have to apply to myself. Truly. You know? Like sometimes I'll get lazy. Or I'll feel sad. I'll feel sad. I'll just, I don't know. I'll just disconnect and forget the fact that I'm going to die someday, dude. You know, f- forget the fact that, you know, the Grim Reaper is going to arrive he's going to appear over my shoulder mr steal your soul he's gonna put on those glasses he's gonna be munching on that toothpick and he's gonna give me that sweet sweet headbutt of death dude dude if i die because someone headbutt me with a toothpick in with a toothpick in their mouth so help me god i'm going to haunt dude i'm going to haunt a toothpick factory i'm gonna (laughs) my point being dude mr steal your soul is gonna appear your life's going to end. And that's that. Just do the things that, that you want to do. That's something that I'm telling myself. And you know what? I just feel like I, got, I have to tell it to you guys. And that's that. Let me look for the inspirational quote of the week. But anyways, I have a segment on this podcast where I say an inspirational quote. I love inspirational quotes. They really help me get through my week. And the inspirational quote of the week is... Life may not be the party we hoped for but while we're here we should dance this is a very very beautiful quote honestly i like this one a lot but if you don't have limbs like i said practice your headbutts 
And if you want to figure out a dance move when you don't have limbs, what you could do is just, you know, move your head violently and just like wobble around your center of gravity. Just wobble around, I guess, on your coccyx. You're laying on your coccyx if you don't have any limbs. Just wobble around your center of gravity looking like a bowling pin that's about to get knocked out, but isn't anyways that is the podcast i hope you motherfuckers enjoyed it if you're not following me on social media please follow me on facebook and on instagram all that information is on the episode no holds or the description if you're watching on youtube and thank you for listening if you listen to the whole thing completely and also hey dude if you enjoy this podcast recommend it to a friend that helps me out a lot if you have any comments any suggestions critics accolades dm me i'm open trust me i have a lot of time but anyways i'll keep you motherfuckers posted peace the fuck out thank you you kind stranger for clicking on a random video that has 17 views you're amazing it's because of people like you that shitty artists or people who think that have talent can keep on living and their delusion.